welcome to our educational channel to find the day of any date i am introducing one new rule is a jellers rule only one simple formula if you remember you can do it already i explained our channel uh, with using different codes and particular year so using centuries so the all we have done with some uh, different different codes we used but in this one just the formula you can use and it's very interested one just i to like this so concept actually in this that's why I want to introduce you separately in separate chapter. So it's a general rule, it's a mathematician, he gave this rule to find the day of any date. So three things you can remember. According to his uh, rule, the month will start from the March. So not from the January. March will start with March. So March is 1, then April is 2 and so on. Then after December again, January, right? So January and the last month is a February in this. Generally we have January to December but uh, according to his rule March to February. That means January is 11 and February is 12. Okay, this is one thing you should remember. Right? Again any, any year will start from the March. Okay, that one you remember and this formula is actually what it is. D plus 13M minus 1 whole divided by 5 plus Y plus Y by 4 plus c by 4 minus 2c. Just practice required. You can remember the formula easy. In this uh, simple thing, d is the date. I will explain how to apply the date in this formula and how to solve. d is the date. m is the month. So, month number. Month number means right side of no, this is a start from the March. March is the 1, April is 2, so on. m is the month number and y. y is the year. So this is year, but last two digits. If it is 1982, only 82 we should take. Last two digits is the year. And C is the century. First two digits of the century. It's 2014 means only 20. So century number. 1946. So 19 is a century number. 2024. So 20 is a century. That means the first two digits. These uh, codes, uh, not codes here, just only this. What is DMYC? Remember easily and formalize this. Okay. Two important things. The month will start from the March to February. Again, if it is in case if it is January 2026 means. So January is 11th now. In stuff, it's not 26. 25 you should take. So I'll explain. Only in this January and February, previous year, uh, previous year we should start because actually the year should start with March. Okay, with two different examples, I'll explain. It's easy for you. Let us take one date first. So by using this calculating, you get one number. That number you can divide with seven because we need find, uh, to find the day. We have seven days in a week. No, divide by seven. Whatever reminder, uh, start from Sunday. If they're getting zero is Sunday. Next, uh, so on. And remainder if it is 0 it's Sunday, then remainder is 1. Monday it is. So we'll start with uh, Sunday onwards. Take on the remainder. So Sunday is a 0. Again, Monday is 1. This is the remainders. And so on. Okay. Start with the example first. Uh, let us take one date. First example. 26th June. You can check with any number of dates. Okay, 1983. Right. This is the date. Let me rewrite the formula again. D plus. Okay, according to this, the D is the date, no? 26. Plus. Easily can make. 13 M. M is the month. This is the June. So, you can keep in mind, start with March. March is 1. April is 2. That means, May is the 3. Again, June is 4. So keep in mind, we we'll start with March. Then June is the 4. Plus 13 into 4. Minus 1. The value divided by 5. Plus. Why is the year? So according to this, the year is the last. 83. Take 83 plus. Again 83 divided by 4. Plus. C is the century. In this uh, 19 is the century, you know, 19 by 4 minus 2 into 19. And one important thing, 
whatever the points are getting we can neglect those points like 83 by 4 no need of taking decimals only the whole number only you can consider that's why you can do calculation also fast 26 plus okay 13 into 4 minus 1 so 52 minus 1 51 divided by 5 plus 83 plus and this is uh, 83 divided by 4 plus 19 divided by 4 minus 2 into 19 is 38. Don't consider the decimal values. 26 plus 51 by 5. Only 10 you can take. You will get 10 point something. Not like that. Just only 10. And 83 plus 83 by 4. 4 2 is 8. 20 is 8. 20 80. Extra 3. Don't consider this. Only the whole number. 19 divided by 4. So 4 table, 4 4 is 16. 4 5 is a 20 now, more than 19. So only 4 minus 38. That's why no need of taking worry about even calculating div uh, divisions. Just you can add all these numbers and minus 38. So you'll get 105. Add all the numbers minus 38. 105. Take this 105 divided with 7. Divided 7. Only the remainder we required because remainder will be between 0 and 6. 7 times 1 is 7. 3 and 5. 7 5 is so 35 0. Right? 15. That's okay. Remainder is 0 we got. Because remainder is equal to 0, it's a Sunday. Only based on the remainder, not the quotient. Because remainder is always from between 0 and 6. With it from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, only we'll get remainder because dividing with 7. Right? So 26 June 1983 is a Sunday. Right? Let me take one more example. Same formula. Now let's take with the January and February one example. You'll get clear idea. Like uh, let me take uh, 4th February 2032 it is. Okay, one example. According to this uh, case, just only date is 4, right? Plus 13 into February is a month, no? But uh, February is, it actually starts from March. So March, April, May, so on. February is the last. That means it's a 12. 13 into 12 minus 1 divided by 5 plus year. So this is uh, because of February, actually the January and February will be previous years. Start with March. So whatever number should reduce one. That's why I am taking this February. If you get January or February, or January and February, anything. Because a uh, year will start from the March, March to February. But this is February 2032 means actually the previous year. So instead of 32, you should supposed to take 31. In case January or February, just whatever the year, just subtract one in this place. That's only a small change. Plus 31 by 4 plus C. 20, no? 20 century is 4. 20 by 4 minus 2 into 20. Simple. Calculations you can do fast. Just only with numbers. 4 plus 13 into 12 minus 1. 156 minus 1. No? 155 divided by 5. Plus 31 plus 31 by 4 plus 20 by 4 minus 40. You can do calculation here also directly. To show you the step by step, I wrote again. Now, 4 plus only the value, 155. So, 31 plus 31 plus 31 by 4. 4 table, 4 7 is a 28. Don't take extra, whatever, just leave it. 20 by 4, 5 minus 40. Add all the numbers, last one only should be subtracted. So, 78 minus 48, no, 38. Simple. Just check the 7 table. Means 38 divided by 7. 7, 5 is so 35, remainder is 3. So, remainder is 3 is no, it's Wednesday. Because Sunday is a 0, Monday is 1, Tuesday is 2, Wednesday is a 3. Therefore, this uh, date is Wednesday. 4th February 2032 is a Wednesday. So only two important things. Just uh, formula you should remember. And if it is January or February, just subtract one number from the year. If 32, take 31. Okay. 
and the code generally this general rule is saying start from the march that's why january february are subtracting one number from the year because if 2026 from the march will start but you are taking january february it is previous years so we'll start with march now that's the case so this is the formula i notice to remember easily and we can do the calculation also very fast no need of taking so many codes like century code year code even the month code instead of remembering all this general rule we can do it fast just practice required little bit and remember the formula and you can do it for any computer exams you can do the answers very fast okay.